Hello, pet parents. Robert Semro here at Blog Paws 2014, and we are really happy to have joined one of the founders of Blog Paws is here with us. My goodness, Yvonne, this is quite an event. Tell us about where you started and where you've come from. Well, Robert, uh, thank you for having me, and I'll tell you that Blog Paws really was created for the bloggers. It was created for the community of pet people who are passionate about sharing their stories about their pets. And in the end, what we discovered early on in 2010 when we launched was that each individual voice put together has a collective influence on how pets are perceived in the world, the entire world. We get contacted from Bosnia and Korea and places like that because they see what we're doing and they want to be part of the voice of the pet community. And this is so important because pets are so important to the everyday life of the average human being, whether they know it or not. Absolutely. Now, Blog Paws has certainly grown into something tremendous. When you and Tom and the others started getting together, did you think it would get to this height? Actually, we did. Good. We said we had brands already coming to us individually as pet bloggers because they liked what we were doing. And that inspired us to try and create this collective community. And when the brands would say to us, well, Yvonne, how many pet bloggers do you think are out there? 100, 200? I said thousands, thousands. And at that time, I thought maybe four or 5,000. Over the course of the last few years, I've discovered there's probably 10,000. We haven't even brushed the surface yet. And we're talking about pet bloggers, we're talking about pet parents who have a family blog where they often include their pets because pets are part of the family. So collectively speaking, there are thousands and thousands and we're just happy that we're growing to a level that we can include all those people in Blog Paws. Without a doubt. Now, there are a lot of wonderful speakers here at Blog Paws 2014. Share a little bit of the insight and maybe the planning that goes into having speakers in particular niches to help the blogging community. That's an interesting question. Um, in the beginning, one of the things we thought was really important was to have other pet bloggers come and present to the community. And I think that worked for us the first couple of conferences. But then what happened was the pet bloggers began to become more experienced and they knew that they needed more quality content, quality speakers. Well, in my previous life as a blogger and blog consultant, I had a lot of connections that were not pet bloggers. And so what we started to do is look outside of the pet arena and say, who has the expertise in search engine optimization? Who has the expertise in how to build a business with your blog? Who has the expertise in photography and things that are necessary to make your blog really successful? And so we started tapping into those people. And we have a process where you can submit a presentation and we will review it. We have certain criteria that we will put out so that you can see exactly what we're looking for. And then we have a committee who goes through them and chooses people that we know are going to provide the most valuable information and the best training for our bloggers. You have certainly seen the evolution of the blogosphere. Let me ask you, where do you see it going in the next year or two? I see it getting bigger. I see it getting stronger. I see it getting more professional. And that is exactly what Blog Paws is all about. The more professional the appearance that we can make and teach the bloggers to make in the blogosphere, the more the brands are going to want to tap into that voice. And for Blog Paws, it's about being respectful. It's about being not an expert because, you know, the, the term expert really is a misnomer. The reality is, if you're in learning mode, we tell the bloggers all the time, please always be in learning mode because within technology, especially in blogging, next week, you're gonna learn something new. Next week, what you thought was true this week is not going to be true. So we're going to help you with the technology, we're going to help you with the experts, and as long as you're in learning mode and you're continuing to build your blog into something that is professional and on journalistic value and is, is worth being published, then what we're going to see is more brands wanting to tap into that voice. I also heavily, strongly think that the blogosphere is really promoting the whole face-to-face -face kind of thing. And that's one of the things I love about Blog Paws, 
is people come here and they get to meet each other face to face for the first time. It has certainly been a great experience for us meeting so many wonderful people that we have had that virtual interaction with, but now to have it in person, so valuable, so important. I want to make sure that people can get more great information from you. Give out the couple of website addresses, your blog. Let's make sure they can find you. Excellent, excellent. Well, they can always find me on blogpause.com on the About page. So I am on the About page. I have a personal pet blog. I don't get to write in it as much as I used to and as much as I would like, but it's called scratchingsandsniffings.com. And then you can always find me at Yvonne at blogpost.com. Well, thank you so much. This has been a tremendous experience. We're looking forward to the rest of the conference. Kudos to you and your entire team. Thank you. It was such a thank wonderful you. event. Thank, you, so thank you for having us here. Thank you for being here.